Coming up to the quarter of an hour mark, still no score here in this Rouse Cup international between England and Brazil. Wobble. Oh, good play. Really enjoying himself tonight, Chris Wobble. Really showing no ill effects from the disappointment on Saturday. Robson trying to get it through towards Beardsley. And uh, Carlos out again. Pierce. Lovely to see Chris Waddle win his battle against the crowd here. You know, he didn't have the greatest start as an England player, but he, he, he's, he's proved himself worthy out there on the pitch where it really counts, Brian, and I'm delighted for him. Now it's Pierce. Robson. Gary Stevens willingly going down the right again for him. Again, Waddle looking for that ball all the time and getting it again from Robson. Played in time to Beardsley. Reed. And Beardsley galloping up, plays it in, oh, just in front of Minica. Some magical play by Peter Beardsley again, though, for England. Just like dropping little grenades all over the pitch, this fella, he's unbelievable. Valdo, made in for Edu, looks such a dangerous player from the midfield. Valdo, playing it in towards Muller, Pierce has missed that one, and Silas with a shot. Nice little touch there by Valdo. Butcher, straight forward with the header. Pierce, straight forward with the pass to Reed. Simple ball this time to Robson. Now finding Beardsley. And on this evening's form, nobody better to find. Look at that quick acceleration. Just in! What a This fella, Peter Beardsley. What about this for acceleration? And what a superb little cross. And then a flying Houchen like header. And England into the lead, a goal to hill. From another angle now, all is worth a view. Brilliant play by Beardsley. Delightful little cross. Flying header by Lineker. England ahead. Kevin Keegan. Well, those new boots certainly work for Lineker, Brian. Tremendous goal. I mean, what, what can you say? The little fellas. He's accelerating, unbelievable, his bravery. And, I mean, Lineker must go down on his knees to see a guy like that. He, he, he's got to be worth five or six goals a year. Oh, and a goal now for Medellinia. After work by Miller. And almost at once, Brazil are back in level. Shilton couldn't hold it. It was Miller in the first place. A good run here. Gets his cross in, Shilton at the stretch couldn't hold it. Adams caught off balance and Merendinia into the roof of the net. And that's 1-1, two goals in a minute. <laughs> Score still 1-1, England in white shirts then attacking now. The goal to our left. Silas missing a header. Beardsley who's missed absolutely nothing tonight. Scuffling away after that one, just look at this, but then in the end, Yosimar getting in, and a really strong challenge there between Yosimar and Pierce, and the yellow card for the New England cap, Stuart Pierce, for the challenge on Yosimar. Kevin Keegan? Well, it's a shame to see that, for me the game has not warranted anything like that really, but it seems to me nowadays, full-backs, they, they all feel they've got one free shot at anybody, and uh, they sometimes feel they have to do this. Actually, looking at it again, yeah. to be fair, I mean, with the benefit of Einstein's slow motion, if anything, the other lad was going for him. Valdo. Silas. Back by Muller to Silas. Josimar. The World Cup triangle there of Brazilian players. Valdo making it the quartet. Muller. Edu, Mirandinha. This could be trouble. A little bit of acceleration, and the shot was wide. He's looking more and more dangerous as the game goes on. I thought first 10, 15 minutes he tried things that even Pelle wouldn't have tried at his best. But he's found his feet now, he's got his confidence. And there's no doubt about it, in this position he fancies chance against the defence, you know, maybe 
feels that running out and is going to get, give him rewards. And certainly if his shot had matched his approach work, he, he was in a great position. Josimar, half stopped, held up a little bit by Reed. Edu, very cheekily, finding Valdo. Irundin is on ahead of him. And straight at Chilton. Pierce going outside now. Calling for a good cross for England. It's knocked out straight to Waddle. Curled in once more. Barnes on the far side. The flank was up. A substitution to be made. It's Waddle with the throw. Reed. Pulled in for Beardsley by Adams. Gainey gets it wide for Waddle. One past Bunga, seeking to go past Nelsinho. There's the cross coming in. Knocked down now for Robson to have a dig at goal. It's wide of the mark. Happy with the draw? Oh, not entirely. Um, I'm happy not to lose. I think it's been a terrific night and we've played quite well. I'm not displeased with it. If John Barnes had knocked the cross in from Chrissy Waddle towards the end, we've had a good night. Perfect cross and he ought to have done better. But, um, you know, apart from that, I think we were slightly the better side. They came and played and had some good players on the pitch. Brazil will always produce players of this magnitude, so we haven't had a bad night, really. Were you a bit angry about letting them back in the game uh, so quickly? Well, I mean, we've got a super goal. I mean, a goal to grace any international football match. Beasley, who's worked like a Trojan, as well as given us very skillful performance, made a lovely goal for Lineker. And uh, we paid the penalty like it so often happens, and it should never happen at this level. Uh, of actually lacking a bit of concentration, falling asleep immediately we've gone into a lead, and but for that we would have won the, you know, the match. I mean, if we hadn't been so careless immediately after putting ourselves in front, we, we really would have had a very good evening.